There we go. I need more of a heat sink. <laughs> That's hard. Okay. Now let me take that off. Visually inspect it. Looks pretty good. Make sure it's going to fit on there. Okay. You may have to bend these copper tabs a little. When I look here, I just saw a black mark on the bottom. I don't know what that is. Anyway, when you look on, if they're at an angle or something, you may have to bend them a little bit, which I'll do here. Now, you want to test this out before you do a complete assembly and make sure the board works as is before you do any modification of it because if it's not working, well, of course, back it goes. And in order to put it in, you insert the front and you slide the back down and you make sure this motor is contact is fitting in place. Okay, everything's fit into place. Uh, make sure this doesn't dangle on the track. Just give a little pinch of the wire. And I'm going to just go over and put it on the layout and make sure that it works okay. Here. And this is a CNGE. ES44AC and we'll do a write on that just to make sure it says OK down there we'll now do a save and yes I want to add it there and there's 2822 in there and now I can open the comprehensive programmer and I can do all sorts of stuff there but what I really care about now is I'm going to come over here to my ecosystem and I want to get 2822 which is this one and there's a forward light and a reverse and a forward and a reverse and a forward try bell get a bell get a whistle okay does it move forward moves forwards so move backwards Ooh, bright light moves backwards okay so I've now proven that the decoder works perfectly I've got it programmed as 2822 and we can go on with the next series of tests. So now that I have this back what I need to do is replace this capacitor. In order to replace the capacitor uh, I need to pull the board out and remember what I said I always pull from the contacts here lift pull a little bit more wiggle and it comes up okay so these need to be replaced the question is how long should the wire be what I'm going to do I'll just temporarily throw it in like that is I'm going to run it from here back through here and have it just tucked in there so I need wire that long We'll grab some wire here, and uh, I just keep pulling them through these guys in order to figure out where the wire is. If you pull, you'll see which one it is. Pull that backwards. Get whatever you're using to cut your wire with. I want it to go from there. Yeah, well, we'll just go from there to the back. Ah, we'll do it that long. I mean, it's not like this is terribly expensive that we're dealing with. All right, here we are on Google, 
and I'm going to go to Amazon.ca and what I want is a 100 micro farad capacitor capacitor hit enter and you'll see there's these which are electrolytic that's not what I want I'm gonna scroll down okay I happen to notice that these are all electrolytic so I'm gonna do a search for capacitor tantalium because I happen to know that's what they are and now you'll see these guys uh, 100 microfarad 25 volt chip tantalium capacitors these would do except they're I think a little thicker but you can see they're um, five of them for 560 so a little more than a buck a piece the ones I got were these which are half the price and if you go here and look you can see they're four by three by two if I go back to these guys they are 7.3 by 4.3 by 4.1 so these are about twice the size uh, they probably still fit and if I ever needed to order more I, I think I'd order some of these just to have them because they're the 25 volt one now these are polarity sensitive you hook them up backwards and apparently there's a little flash and some smoke so it's imperative you get it right red if wire you... is positive so they're using red as positive on here I know because I've looked it up that this bar is positive and there's nowhere else on here it says positive or negative so what I do is you see there's a little plus sign I've put in here and I make sure the positive points to there so the red wire is going to go there. Step one I need to tin these connections so first up I need to get rid of the um, the insulation press down with the soldering iron and pull press down with the soldering iron and pull clean the tip and then I just turn it to try and make sure there's no little pieces of wire sticking out if it hasn't completely cleaned it you can pull it with your thumbnail inspect the wire a bit Okay. now I want to tin these guys and those guys a little bit of flux here I will just, I have some on this brush already, just to apply a little bit. That's a tiny bit of flux applied. And then I dip this into the flux thusly. And then grab my solder. And touch it all together now that will melt a little more insulation that's fine do the same thing on here if your fingers start burning you got to you, you're applying it too long okay and then just use this solder get a little solder bubble if you're worried about what I'm using here this is a gigantic roll of solder get the thinnest you can this is uh, just use it in this one instead here now you remember which side is positive that side because I got a big plus mark so now I take my red wire maybe you can see better if I do it this way 
got to be angled correctly to fit on there. Once it does, Okay, that's the red one. So we'll grab our magnificent heat sink. But basically, you do the tug test and that'll tell you. Okay, so that's got that soldered. To use just plain old black tape. And what I do is I bend the two wires so that they come out like that. And then I take my black tape and put it on like that and then wrap it around and the black wire I want it to be that one. Now that I have that done, I'll go ahead here and strip the insulation off again. I just need a little bit though. Just the very tip. Because this is going into a circuit board. Make sure you come in from the side that if you screw up will do the least amount of damage. In this case this is attached to a spot there and now uh, goes into where it's going to go Doug, 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 we're good. On this side as well. Put this guy in. Slide in the front. Slide the back down. Make sure this one's underneath as I slide it down more. Seems to be okay. Sit down, slide it forward. If you look right here, you can see that motor pins back just a little, so we'll slide it forward. In fact, I got a little tool here I can use to push it underneath. That's good. Same thing on this side. Okay, everything looks good there. That's that. Now let's go over and make sure it works still. It all works fine. Now, we need to reattach it. In order to do that, we first of all need to fix the yeah, double-sided tape sometimes is a little <laughs> less than easy to work with. Okay, so that's stuck on there. There, that should all fit. And the last one I'm going to do is this guy. Peel this little sticky thing off. I'm going to slide it in here like this. Press it down. Now, you may be able to see why I wanted to make sure this light was ground down a bit because it hits the top here. However, as part of this, I need to route these wires Start by inserting the back first As I do, you'll see I need to tuck the wires up there 
wires aren't quite tucked in. Now, the way you'll actually know if you've done this right and that everything's fitting right is press it down you'll be able to look at the back here and if you can see a bit of a gap in there you'll know it's not quite right and I'll show you the final test for that final test is you get track out put the local on the track grab your height gauge for a coupler and see and they line up perfectly. I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so you can see here those couplers line up perfectly and that's what you need if this coupler is high like this which it would be if you didn't grind down the light then you'd have an issue so last thing let's put it on the track and make sure it's working okay so we're on the track now let's hit the bell whistle backwards backwards lights on Ooh, hmm, quick little bell forwards Quick little level. Forward lights are on. So what else have we got? Uh, grade level crossing. Okay, so I'm going to do some more programming of this, but that's the conversion work.